the time has come, everybody, to take this nasty ass shit show of a shop that I have turned into exactly what I was trying to get away from. It is time to get off my ass, finally get this thing cleaned up a little bit, turn this into the place that I wanted it to be. It is time to hit that back wall. You know, I did that video the other night on being burned out creatively. Not sick of making videos in any way, shape, or form. I love doing it, otherwise I wouldn't do it at all. But, you know, part of that comes from this right here. The clutter of the mind when you walk in your space every day and it's just destroyed and you know you did it and you have to start somewhere. So I don't know how far we're going to get today, but we're going to start over by the sawmill and we're just going to work our way towards the doors and then we're going to work our way across because I tell you what, I'm almost ashamed to show this the way it is, but I know I'm not the only one who has spaces like this, so... Boy, this is quite, quite the mess. I tell you, about the... A lot of this was made around the time I fell. And uh, I just have not gotten around. We got into doing so much else. To be honest with you, winter time, it's freaking cold out here. So, <laughs> I guess we're going to do it now. It is a miserable day today. The wind is cranking. I was in. You guys noticed I started the video in different clothes. I know we're on the. Uh, We are on the same day with this, but I went out to check the cows quick before we really got into this, and I had a calf face down in the mud. And hopefully he does all right, but he was pretty weak, so I had to get him out of there. But, yeah, this is a good time here. Real good time. If you guys have one of these sawmills, there's just no easy way of cleaning these bed rails out. There's no fun way, no easy way, it just one of those jobs that just plain sucks. Well, it's been a long time since we've run this sawmill. I don't think I've run this maybe once since the accident, and boy do I miss it. I love running this sawmill. It's one of my, one of my favorite things. It, it really is. There's nothing like throwing a log on there and seeing what you're going to get out of it. What is, you know, it's just, it's awesome. It's like Christmas time. You pull the cap off of a log, you see the beautiful grains, or, you know, you're very seldom are you actually disappointed with what you're, with what you have. Now, fortunately, I did do the right thing. Last time I used this, it's just like your uh, shop band saw. You take the tension off the blade. I always do that. It's kind of a kind of a rule of mine. But otherwise, the band tires they get flat spots in them, and then you have so much vibration, just a pain. So it's time to grease her up. We have a lot. Of we have a lot of scraps here that I can turn into dimensional stuff that we can use the uh, use the frame in upstairs and we obviously have this back wall out here we need to frame up and I have two of the girts I need for it I need to cut one more I think I have a log out there we can do that with but in order for me to get the log in here I have to get hinges on that door Yeah, it's a good time to grease this guy up. I see birds have been shitting on my mill. Dirty mother nature, I tell you. I blame Canada. Blame the Canadians. So much easier to blame Canada for your problems. I love blaming Canada. Nice, they make everything greasable. I hate buying equipment that doesn't have greasable bearings. 
And unfortunately, these days they're making more and more of them. I wonder how much they really save on Zerk fittings. For this guy, the level of sitting time. Kind of dumb not to at least grease it up before we use it. I will say, I like this mill. It's a decent mill. It's a good mid-range mill to get yourself into saw milling. But it has got to be the worst design out of any of the saw mills I've seen for accessing the blade and servicing it. A lot of them, like the wood misers, even the Norwoods, you have panels that hinge open. But to be honest with you, I mean, it's... It's not like it's a big deal for the price point of this thing with what I got with it. I can't really... It's just one of those things you have to deal with. So you have all these scrap pieces that have been here. They've been here a while. So it's time to maybe start getting some of these... Ugh, get some of these cleaned up a little bit here. Easiest way to do that for me, throw them right back on the sawmill and start cutting some boards out of them. That is kind of hard to walk. Hard to walk in here. Should be able to get some two bys for framing that upstairs up out of this. Trying to get something milled today. It's starting to look like it may not happen. This was even messier than I anticipated. See if we can get something.
That's it. <laughs> That's it. Fuck. So what we're going to try to do here moving forward, because I just don't want to, uh, I don't want to go through that creative burnout mode again. Um, I did a video the other night on it. A lot of you watched it. A lot of good comments. A lot of good feedback. Um, so I'm going to start mixing it up again like we used to do. You know, instead of spending weeks on one project, I'm just going to kind of break up what I'm doing. I'm going to take a couple nights a week, work on the barn, work on finish getting this thing closed up. We'll bring the timber frame vlog back a little bit for those. We'll do a couple nights a week in the wood shop. And then just whatever it is that we're into. Uh, of course, come come summertime, when we're in the hay fields heavy, there's going to be plenty of that. But uh, so anyway, that's where we're at. So try to keep the energy levels up and all that good stuff. And probably won't be pumping out a video every day like we used to. But that's all right. It is what it is. It's kind of hard to do a video every day on the same thing. So that's why we're going to break it up. That's a big. That's what gets to be a big. Uh, Oh, help me out here, guys. I can't freaking talk. That's what really tends to burn you out when you're doing the same thing over and over. You guys may not mind it, but when you're the guy in front of the camera, you do tend to start to get a little, eh, i got to move on to the next thing here. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you on the next one.